Okay then, this is Kaido Racer 2 on the PlayStation 2. So this is the, well it's the fifth in the series that I'm looking at on Toge Racing Games and this is the third one that I'm looking at on the PS2. As I probably suggested in the previous videos, this is my favourite one. It's it's known by different names. In Japan it was, well it's part of the Shotoko Racer, so this is your Tokyo Highway Challenge game that you might have heard of on the Dreamcast or Tokyo Extreme Racer as it is in the US. And in the US this one's called Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. So they've all got completely different names. But, oh, blimey. But with this one, you get a career mode and it's a little bit like Gran Turismo, so you've really got to invest in the tracks and play them again and again and again and get better really better um, positions each time and win money and cups and things like that and you can suit the car up so this was being played pretty much mid game I've not played it for a couple of years so I've just loaded up the game save but the the handling models a little bit strange you've really got to use the handbrake on the corners so you've got to really take them slow in some cases and it's it's really all about precision. So it's it's not really arcadey, but it's fun. Oh, arse. <laughs> Come on. Okay then. So in this race, this is a called a category race. So you've got different types that you can do. So this one's against the clock. So some of them are <clears throat> battles against cars and, and some of them are just more typical races which is quite varied and, and it's good in a way because you get to really do the time trials first and get used to the the tracks before you really have to well race as good as you can do against a, a real rival I think the time trials oh crap are a bit more forgiving I'm really not sure why I've spec the car up this way. It, it's really twitchy. Oh, blimey. Oh, uh, bit of oscillation there. Yeah, y you can see why I like the Code R game. I like momentum in the vehicle, but I think I've spec this up too high. That I think the suspension's low and hard on the front, which means the car tends to swing around quite a lot, which is great for drifting but you can oversteer badly and I think this might just be because the, the car's a front wheel drive car and what I want is the almost the behaviour that it's a rear wheel drive car so all the weights really should be at the front in this case oh I like the oh, thank you. I like the way that the car, well, the, the windshield gives you these um, sort of arrows, almost like a, a rallying game. So you've got two. You've got one that you see coming up, and then one in the rear um, mirror, and you can see what's coming up next, which is quite nice. I mean, I'm really having to concentrate on this. It's, it's hard. But you really do feel a really a connection to the road on this, and I think this is why I like this game. It's you really feel that the road is challenging you. Okay, so what I'm showing here is you get this thing called a parking area, so you can do your time trials. But what you can do is challenge other drivers. I suppose a little bit like the Tokyo Highway Challenge game. So here we go. I'll do a, a two-player battle. Well, two-player me and the rival rather. Yep. Okay then. So, oh, it says prepare for struggle. I'm not sure that that's exactly a good thing, but here we go. You might notice the the um, screen's a little bit stretched from the previous tracks. The game, well, I'm playing it at 50 hertz, and it's not really a widescreen game, so it, it looks a little bit squashed. So what I've just done for this track is blown the, the image up a little bit on my T2 
television, which means it, it might crop the top and the sides off a little bit, but at least it should look more like it should do, rather than it being squashed. Oh. I like the effect on the road, where you get water on it, and it glows when it's, see there, when the sun hits it from certain angles. Quite tight as well, the camera angle. Go on. Out the shift. You've really got to use. Oh crap! You've really got to use the handbrake quite a lot in the the game. You. It's really a combination of sometimes using the brake and the handbrake and the accelerator all at the same time to give you the drift and that tends to knock the car around and some of these well nearly all of these corners actually on this track are 180 degree turn so you've really got to persuade the car to point the other direction without oh, oh that was close without hitting corners Although I have to say, it's quite forgiving if you bump into the side, you tend to just bounce off. Yeah. Okay, I've put this on a practice just to see how I get on. Right, what, what you've got to do on this one is you've got to do drifting. So it's, it's gathering points for... Oh! oh it's, it's a little bit like Metropolis Street Race. No. Oh, not Metropolis Street Race, so it was on the sequel, uh, Project Gotham, where you've got the cone challenges and things like that, so you've got to do drifting, and you get points for drifting, but if you hit the side like that, you lose the points. Oh, dear. I think the good thing with these modes is they teach you how to drift, because in a real battle, you can't hit the corners, but yet you've got to keep your speed up, so I, I think the pacing of the game is really nice, so you spend time doing the time trials, doing the, the drifting challenges, and then you go to the car park and you, you find people to race against. And the cool thing with this game is that you get fan mail. It's a bit like, well maybe not quite fan mail, I'm thinking of Burning Rangers, but you get mail from rivals and people from other teams saying, yeah, we, we like your racing, or we want to sponsor you, or we think you've got a good reputation, do you want to race with this particular race? I'm really not doing very well on this. But it's a great game. It really is a good game, and it's not like Initial D. It looks like it, but the way it plays is totally different, but it's, it's such a rewarding game, and it's very... It's well, it's hard, but it's one of those that you keep playing again and again and again on the same tracks, and you do better and you do different things each time again. Quite a lot like Gran Turismo, and that it's not just about doing the track once, getting first, and you're done with it. You, you've got to do it again and again and again, and really master it, and I suppose race it differently each time, either time or or points, or, or just get in front of the car, like the rival. Oh, this is terrible, I keep sliding too much. I'm not using the brake at all, I'm just using the, the handbrake, but I think that might be where I'm going wrong. So let's let's try just using the normal brake. Oh, that was different. Problem with that is the brake's quite useful because it does well. It does stop you sliding out, but you go really slow, which is not very good when you're racing with a car. So you've got to learn how to race at breakneck speed and handbrake it around the corner. I'll give it a go. Oh, that worked. Oh shit. The problem with these is the corners tend to come in pairs, so you, you swing out on one and then in on the other, and then just whack, 
the side, just like that. Right, okay. Right, I think I'll leave it there. So this is the really the summary of the Toge games on the PS2. And I'm not sure if I made it really clear on the previous videos that these three are all UK games, so they're all power releases, so they're not imports, so they should be fairly cheap. I had a look for some of them on eBay, and Tokyo Road Race is like a pound. Uh, Road Rage 3 is not much more, but Kaido Race is perhaps the most expensive. It's like £10-15 pounds on eBay, but I think if you really want to get into this kind of game, for example, you like Gran Turismo style, and or Sega GT style and you want to just try something different, these different style of racing, then there's hours and hours to be had in this game. And I think <clears throat> excuse me, if I was gonna have just one game I'd go for this one out of all the others. And I think that would even include the Saturn ones. For as fun that they are, uh they don't have the longevity as this. This this really is a good game. And I think I'll leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. So if you've got any stories on other games or other Togo games that you've played or recommendations uh, perhaps from the current generation then please let me know. I know that there are little sections here and there and I think Grid has got a, a section in and um, Need Speed Carbon's got a little bit in but I've not seen a, a specific new game uh, with this style so if you've got any recommendations then I'd be very happy to hear from you so thanks a lot for watching.